My, my same Jewish friend, he objects to the shroud because he says that the Gospel of St. John uh, describes our Lord as being wrapped in strips of linen and that the burial mm. tradition would have involved strips of linen, not a single mm. cloth. Yes. So what do you say to that? Well, I would open my Greek New Testament, again, very kindly with your friend, and I would show him that Athonia in Greek, which is fine linen, is used in the singular and plural in all, of, in each, all four of the Gospel accounts. Sindon is used in Sudarium. Those are the three Greek terms used to describe the linen garments that Jesus is buried in. The Sindon, Michael, for your Jewish friend, is like a pita <laughs> that wraps the body. Hmm. It is the complete cloth from back to front that wraps over the body. The linen strips would then wrap around horizontally, hmm. keeping the feet together, the hands together, and then sometimes even a jawband because you don't want to you right. like this when you die. Um, and again, that is consistent with the burial traditions with Lazarus. So there is no contradiction between what we see with the shroud and the Athonia in singular and plural in the New Testament, Sindon and Sudarium. I, does that make that clear? It you would, and the Jews did not practice mummification. Okay? They practiced burying in a shroud. One of the notable features of the image, it's not just that it's you know, photo negative, but that it, it seems to, I've at least heard, I don't really know the evidence for this, that it, it's like three-dimensional. Correct. This uh, is how's that? Michael, you're, you're hitting up a very fascinating aspect. In fact, the question you're asking right now is what gave rise in 1976 to the 1978 Shroud of Turin Research Project. Two Air Force Academy professors, physicist Eric Jumper and uh, John Jackson, they're at the Air Force Academy as professors. They have a VP-8 image analyzer. You can look this up on YouTube and see how a VP-8 image analyzer works. It was designed by NASA to study the topography of surfaces of, the, of planets. They take an image of the shroud and they use the VP-8 image analyzer to analyze the shroud and they begin to notice there is a topography, there is 3D information encoded in the linen shroud that when you look at it, you see the face of Jesus pop out in a 3D way, the man of the shroud. And no, nothing else did that. When they put pictures of their children through the VP8 image analyzer, they're just uh, marred and sloppy and there's no definition. But when you, again, put the shroud back in, there's 3D information. And that 3D information is what kicked off the scientific studies in 1978 that went on to prove that the shroud is not a man-made work of art.